I remember the relief of just waking up. Ooh, easy. So easy. But that's another no feeling can't compare to you. You just gotta let me know. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Girls Channel. If you're new here, my name is Davina. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. As per today's title, I am doing a part two to my breast reduction um, story. So this one will be more of like a Q&A for you guys because since I posted my first one, which I think I posted it almost a year ago, and from that point, I think it had been about a year or so-ish. I don't even remember, girl. I don't even remember. This is just life now. Like, this is just life. And I'm hyped. I'm happy. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so since posting that video, I've seen that a lot of people have commented on that video asking me specific questions. I did go ahead and answer some of them in the comments of that uh, video but i don't i don't really want to have to give people an essay you feel me i wanted to just be able to be like all right this is what it is um but then i wanted to make this video to kind of just be like all right so that is what it is but let me really tell you why that is what it is so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and jump into your questions if you haven't already gone ahead and seen my post-op breast reduction surgical photos all of that um i'm going ahead and put a card up here for you guys to go ahead and check that out um that way if you have any other questions or anything else you can go ahead and leave it on that video leave it under this one if you want me to further explain anything i'm gonna try as hard as i can to um remember everything because i believe i had my surgery the same year I turned 21, so that was almost three years ago. Yeah, that's almost three years ago um, that I had my surgery. I didn't have my YouTube channel then, sadly, so I couldn't really do the whole shebang of, you know, the process and how it went for me in real time. But I can still tell you my experience. I could still give you advice and tell you, you know to do it because it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. I can say that with my whole chest, my whole chest. I can say that. Yeah, my iPad. Um, all right, so someone said that I will love more before and after pictures. Girl, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry it took me so long, but you know, besides the ones that I have in my video, I'm gonna put some other ones on the side of the screen here. Um, I didn't really, mark my journey too too much i did take some surgical photos some like befores and some after you know i'll put those on the screen if you want to see that um you guys can also kind of see my weight fluctuation from when i did have bigger boobs that's kind of just what it is it is i will say it is it is and was easier for me to or should i say that backwards i don't think it matters um easier for me to lose weight um after my surgery i'm not really sure what the science is behind that i'm not really sure if it's um a case-to-case -case basis but i just know i've always been active so me getting that surgery and continuing my life it just made it so much easier for me to lose that weight but if you're seeing that that is also a very big difference between buffalo and after I do remember after my surgery my chest was so swollen like it was firm like they were so swollen and tight and perky like they looked good but like when you touched them they were hard like they were really hard but just know that that is regular that's totally normal um you know I had the anchor cut so I had scarring all the way down and up that's where they did my incision to remove the excess fat from my chest um but i mean with that being said i mean i kind of i just used you know some gauze i kept it clean um that's pretty much it like 
yeah it says girl i was fully developed with a cycle excuse me by age nine like african girls have to deal with hyper sexual behavior from kids before we even know what that is i hated my chest as a child i was married and still could not be intimate without a shirt fortunately as i got older and gained weight my body compensated but i'm still a 36 g cup so i do plan on getting the surgery i would 1000 percent recommend you get the surgery um, and you're a G cup. I was a J cup when I got my surgery. So I was like, what, like two or three extra sizes. Girl, get that, get that. Please get that. And I don't know if it is a, um, a matter of, you know, insurance. You just want to have your kids first. I don't know what it is because me, I, I told myself too, I was like, I want to wait till I have my kids to have my reduction and then I realized <laughs> baby I don't want kids until I'm almost 30 I'm not finna live another decade of my life with these ginormous things so I went and I got the surgery um but I definitely do like resonate and I feel you with the whole intimacy with a shirt on I've always always felt big always felt big there was no getting around feeling there's no getting around feeling big when you have a big chest there's really no way of getting around it and it honestly sucks it really does because even if you're a curvy girl even if you got a little bit of a waist it don't matter because your chest is gonna hide it all so i do love a good chest moment cleavage moment but i am definitely with the girls that say get that reduction I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I really hope that you're able to get it. And I'm, I'm really hoping, you know, because being fully developed, that's no joke. At a young age, that's no joke. That's really no joke. Like, and that was me. I think I was a D cup by the time I was in sixth grade, baby. Didn't nobody know what to do with me. I never internalized it or took it too deep um maybe i'm lying because during that time i definitely was like in my bag because i was like don't nobody look like me don't nobody have my chest like this is crazy like why am i going through this and i am like 12 like it's crazy it says hi i watched your video i actually just got mine done and i'm seeing a big difference and definitely feeling relief and i know all the doctors recommend you lose weight before because it could affect your breasts after i just wanted to know um i'm more worried about losing weight in my stomach area most of all so do you have any tips exercise or do you agree that the doctors say you are or do you agree with what the doctors are saying and should i have much of a worry um i mean i i did answer this um mostly because i did comment on um but that was that was a while ago i'm not gonna lie that was a while ago it, I wouldn't say it's a worry because girl any doctor is finna tell you to hop on a treadmill any doctor is finna tell you you you, you should you should be working out you should be exercising of course with any surgery it's best for you to be at your physical best so that it's better for you while you're under the anesthesia you know like you shouldn't be going into surgery with medical issues heart issues you know stuff like that so like in that res in that regards it makes sense of course it makes sense you know just work out help heart help heart health all that mess you know that makes sense but congratulations too congratulations on your surgery girl i know you hype i'm hype for you i remember the relief of just waking up oh easy so easy but the whole fact of like you know you should lose weight because if you get the reduction and then decide to lose weight your it could affect your breasts of course you know just like anything else if you weren't to get the surgery and say you lost 20 pounds your chest would get smaller so like in that case it makes sense like 
as I said, it's easier for me to lose weight now that I have this reduction. So say you went, you got the reduction, and then you decided you it's easy as uh, it's easy as everything to lose weight. Now you done dropped 25, 30 pounds, sis. Now you already went from a J cup to a double D cup. You just lost 25 pounds and now you a C cup. I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. I know that was a little bit dramatic, baby, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's talking about. So it's all dependent on you me i didn't care and like i said i was already active anyway so i think that's why my doctor didn't really have this conversation with me but obviously you know if you're losing weight fat is stored in your chest so you're gonna lose you know weight in your chest as well so i guess it's all dependent on how small you want to be but when you've had big boobs for such a long time I don't feel like it don't matter. It really didn't matter to me. I, I went in there and I said as small as you can make them. Make them as small as you can make them because I'm done. So with that, I, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you know. Another comment I got was, could you see a size different after a month of surgery? Um, From what I could remember, uh, I was swollen for like maybe two or three weeks maybe long actually I'm, i might be lying i might be lying it might be up to a month because i remember not being allowed to work out for the first two weeks which i didn't and then by the time i did go to the gym my boobs were still very perky very up and very tight so i think after a month they were just now starting to like well maybe not just just now but there your your chest is definitely going to be like hard for the first two weeks minimum for the first two weeks because those first two weeks they they tell you not to no extraneous activities it might actually be for the whole month sis just do your own research <laughs> because the the dates and stuff it's been three years for me so the dates and stuff is you know but I remember that I feel like they, you know, they told me not to work out for two weeks, which I did. And I remember them telling me not to do a certain amount, like certain activities for a month. So like jumping on a trampoline, doing this, doing that and the third, they're like, don't do that for at least 30 days. So, but after a month, I just remember them feeling softer. Um, they were still very perky. My boobs did not drop until maybe like the sixth or seventh month after my surgery like they were very perky and very up for a while which is why i really want to go back and get my chest done again because i missed that i was walking around here with no bra like to go from always wearing a bra 24 7 to then not having to wear nothing 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 i'm getting i'm getting a lift i'm getting a lift it's beautiful. I'm getting a lift. The scars, uh, sis, just be ready and be okay. Accepting with the fact your scars are going to take a while. Like I said, it's been almost three years for me. And I think I'm just now getting to the point where like it's, um, it's not, there's no bump anymore. Like you can't really see the ridge, you know, of, of where the stitching was. Um, it's just now starting to like smooth out a little bit. The discoloration is still there. It's still darker where, um, you know, the incision and stuff was, the stitches were. You could also get dissolvable stitches. So, unless that's something they automatically do. But dissolvable stitches is a thing if you didn't know. I found out when I got the surgery. Dissolvable stitches is a thing. So, the scars are going to be there, girl. Like... That's really something that you're going to have to be okay with, especially for the long run, because I, you know, I don't, I think I was at first, when I first got the surgery, I was paying attention to my scars, keeping it moisturized, you know, putting on the cream and stuff. But at the end of the day, when you really think about it, like it's a scar, like it's finna heal how it's finna heal. It's going to be on you forever. Just be glad that you got small boobs. Just be glad that you're out here and you can live and you know your chest isn't or not your chest your shoulders aren't you know hanging no more your um the grooves from your shoulder straps will not be grooving no more you know when you sit down and think about it the pros 
heavily heavily outweigh the cons that was a long answer but i just reread the question and she asked if i saw a size difference and i don't think i did i don't think i did i am still actually the same size as i was when i got my surgery three years ago the only difference is that gravity has taken effect and they are drooping a little bit they're just a little droopy saggy but it's okay because that's life that's you know it's being a woman that's why i said i need a lift i don't need but i would like a lift did weight loss affect the size slash results of your breasts how much did you lose exactly um i i will not it weight loss does not affect how small your breasts can get the way it was explained to me by my doctor is that at a certain point there's no going back so when your chest reaches a certain level like if a certain level of fat builds up in your chest there's only so much they can take out so when I went in and I said like I said I was a J cup when I went in and she asked me okay so how much do you want to take off and I said honestly as much as you could take as small as you can make me I don't care flat chest me if possible I don't care and she started laughing blah blah but she was like well honestly we can't even make you that small because your chest your your chest is already so big like we can only take out so much you know we have to rearrange it yada she just doctor talk but basically i was too big so the smallest i could go was a double d so you can't go from a g cup to an a cup that's too drastic of a, mis a difference you know what i mean like there i don't know if it's if there's something else besides the fat that grows within your chest but there is a cap depending on how big your cup size is already what don't you like about your areolas specifically let's talk about it we're gonna get very in depth in detail with this real quick i don't not like my areolas let me say that first my areolas are also they look different after the surgery so obviously when you have a bigger chest you usually have either bigger nipples bigger areolas because it's a bigger circum circumference um so i had like regular size nipples but my um areolas were you know larger because of my chest so when i woke up i was very it weirded me out just a little bit just a little bit because my areolas like i don't know what they did i don't know if they just cut the skin but one my areolas are darker i don't know if it's because it's less skin so it's more concentrated but my areolas are darker one they're darker and they're more opaque and i can kind of tell where they made the incision around my nipples right after the surgery i could see the stitching on that as well um because you know that's um part of the the anchor incision they go around the nipple down and then under the butt uh, under the boob um but yeah like i don't really have an issue with them they're just different um, it took me a while because like I said, they're a lot, they're a, after the surgery, they were a lot darker. So that took me a little bit to, um, figure out. Now, this is honestly what I really want to tell you about. This is like, no one ever told me this. No one ever told me this when I was doing research about, um, breast reduction. No one ever said this. And I don't know why no one ever said this. No one ever talks about this, but this is a thing. And I'm pretty sure it happened to me. And since we're talking about the areolas and I'm talking, I'm talking so fast because I'm like, oh my God. <sighs> I'm not going to put any photos of it up on the screen. Maybe I will. I don't know. But, um, if I don't Google it on your time, it is called bottoming out. So I believe that my, I bottomed out a little after my surgery. Um, I have seen extreme cases of bottoming out, but I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not as extreme, but I do feel like I'm somewhere in there. And basically what that is, actually, let me just, I'm gonna just look up the actual term. I, I just found a whole article about bottoming out um but i'm just gonna read it real quick to see what it says it says traditionally bottoming out was a term applied when the lower half of the breast skin stretched and lengthened out 
after a traditional inverted T style breast reduction surgery. This lower pole stretch could give the characteristic appearance to the breast with the following features. One, the illusion of an overly high placement of the nipple. Two, a vertically oblong <laughs> shaped breast. Three, loss of upper pole fullness, which with excess fullness in the lower half breast, um, more of a teardrop than a round shape. And four, an upward oriented nipple. Some of these I didn't even know counting. The reason that I say that I feel like I bottomed out um, is because I do feel like my nipples are a little bit higher than they should be. But I didn't reach this point until I was about a year and a half after my surgery, maybe. But yeah, once I reached that point, it kind of just came more apparent because I was putting on bralettes and things and um, I would just have nip slips way too easy. Way too easy, way too easy. The way that I make it make sense more for me is just the fact that when I got the surgery, I got the surgery with it to be a lift and gravity just took effect. And I don't know. But like I said, it's nothing crazy. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I still wear stuff. Like I have on, you can see the bra here now. Like, let's see if I could show you guys just a little bit. All right, I moved the camera down just a little bit more so you guys can see. Um, as you can see, I have on this bodysuit and it's a little bit see-through. You can see my bra underneath it here. Um, so normally, I feel like if you're looking at this, the nipple placement would be kind of like down here, I guess. Um, but my nipples are about a half an inch higher than they should be. Like I feel like, you know, down here, usually nipples are pointed downwards this way. Mine are kind of more pointed outwards a little bit higher so that is also something that can happen if you do go ahead and get this breast reduction surgery so i just want to make sure people are aware of that because when i was looking at videos and when i was doing my personal research back then i didn't find anything like that um but regardless of that being said i still think it's very much worth getting this surgery done um because as you could tell like it ain't stopping me from wearing what i want to wear babes it's not stopping me at all and it's not that big of a it's not that big of a deal um because like i said i feel like you could just get another lift which i remember reading in an article when i figured out this term that that's usually what people do they just go back and get a recreate re corrective surgery along with a lift with your breasts um so i think that's just something i'm just gonna have to do later down the line but right now babes i am living my life and i'm loving my boobs I keep saying boobs, but I love them. And I know that's only a few of the questions or comments that were left about my video and my experience. I hope any of the photos or any things that I shared with you guys really helped. I really hope that they did. Um, but with that being said, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok because I do things on there periodically. If you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave it under this video. I'm not really sure if I need to do a part three to this because I've done my experience and now I've done your questions. So if you have any further questions, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll just answer them as well as I can. And with that being said, that's the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your guys' personal experience if you've heard of the term bottoming out. Um, if you have bottomed out, sis, and you've done what you gotta do to get that corrected, let me know what you did. Let me know. Let me know who to go to as well because I need to make sure this person know what they're doing because I don't want to go back for the same thing in another two years. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.